Hi, in this lab activity, we will configure IPv4 default route from uh, router 2 to the internet and then propagate that default route to the other router and here's the router 1 and router 3 and then we will verify the default route uh, is in downstream routing table on the two router here and the, the host or end devices uh, can access to the web server now on uh, part 1 we will uh, propagate a default route firstly we will test the connectivity to the web server on the PC one add the ping to the web server and here we get the destination hold unreachable and on PC3 And we also get the destination hot unreachable reply from uh, this IP address. So why we have this message? So now we uh, should examine the routing table on router one. Show IP. And uh, here's the routing table on router one. And we uh, can see that there are no uh, networks 64 uh, on uh, web server on the routing table. And there's, there is no uh, default route on the routing table on router one. So when uh, PC1 ping to the uh, web server, so it should be failed. And we examine the routing table, route table on router 3. I think it's the same. Show IP route. There's no city for networks of web server here, and there is no default route. So let's have a look. At the routing table on router 2 there's no default route to the external, external network so on step 2 we will configure default route on router 2 so IP road Zero, zero, one, zero. Uh, we get the uh, warning message, uh, be, uh, but it's a point-to-point -point interface, so we can uh, ignore this uh, warning message. So now we can show the routing table on this router. And here you see we already have the default route to the internet and PC2 can ping to the web server get the reply from the web server and we now turn back to PC1 and we ping the web server again we still have the reply destination hosts unreachable and why we have 
we cannot ping to the web server so let's examine the router one routing table again and here there's no default route so we need to uh, propagate the default route from router 2 to router 1 and router 3 using OSPF message now to do that on router 2 we need uh, to enter the propagate uh, command by IP uh, router OSPF 1 and the default information originate so this command will uh, propagate the default route on router 2 to router 1 and router 3 so now we uh, examine the routing table on router 1 and router 3 show IP Here we have the default route O means OSPF uh, stars uh, sa, uh, star uh, E2 mean candidate default and E2 mean E uh, the external E2 OSPF external type 2 and on router 3 We also have this default route. Now I ping from PC1 to the internet and it's successful. And from router 3, we also get reply from the web server. So that is all for this activity. Thanks for